Hello, everybody. My name is Sean. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS online video tutorial series. Today, we're going to look at a new feature. Uh, it's only in beta still. Uh, probably, I plan on adding some more features to it, but it's WordPress. It's the WordPress content management system. And now, using PSD to CSS online, you can draw a new, your new theme or template uh, for WordPress in Photoshop. Just draw it the way you want it, design it in Photoshop and uh, name a couple of the layers right and send that Photoshop file up to PSD to CSS Online and a few seconds later you'll get a complete and completely coded and working WordPress theme that you can just install straight into WordPress and it works right away. So uh, let me show you how you do that. Let's see, let's go to Photoshop. This is uh, Photoshop it's, uh, and this is an example of a theme that uh, I designed. It's pretty boring um, but, uh, but it does have a big area here for the content for uh, from uh, WordPress and another area over here for the sidebar on the right. Um, as you know probably hopefully the uh, the way you use PSD to CSS online for anything it's all about uh, how you name the layers in these uh, over here in your layers for the PSD file um, and the two important ones in this case are this one let's see content WordPress you can see I can turn it on and off there you see how that's the big dark gray area. Uh, PSD to CSS Online will replace this layer with the content for uh, uh, that comes from uh, WordPress when you make it live on your as your template. Um, and so that dark gray, you won't see dark gray. Uh, whatever art was in this la layer, because it's called content underscore WordPress, will be replaced. But what is important is, uh, is uh, the shape and size and position where it is. See, it's uh, this, exactly this spot in my design and that's exactly where I want the words for the content to show up um, and similarly over here for the uh, sidebar we have another one called sidebar sidebar underscore WordPress and uh, that's where the content for the sidebar will show up um, in this particular design I also have a, a button here let's see uh, that is uh, that will has some other PSD to CSS online uh, features uh, connected to it there's a whole menu that'll come up um, I'll show that to you later, but that's just to show off that uh, um, that you can use all the other features, all the PSD to CSS online features in your WordPress theme. So, uh, okay, so uh, let's just take this file and save it. And so there we go. Then we just go over to PSD to CSS online and grab that PSD file and upload it. So right now the file is uh, uploading to PSD to CSS online where uh, the software is taking it apart and um, generating all the code for a WordPress theme. Uh, it knows that it it knows that it needs to create WordPress specific code, PHP files and HTML and JavaScript and uh, all that stuff because of those layer names, those two layer names in there that were uh, content underscore WordPress and sidebar underscore WordPress. Those are the those are the clues to the to the software about what kind of what it needs to generate and. Uh, it can take, uh, it's usually only a few seconds, but it can take upwards of a minute sometimes. Uh, it depends on how busy the site is. This morning it's very busy. Um, so um, we do use EC2, Amazon EC2 instances to, uh, to power uh, PSD to CSS Online. So when it gets really, really busy, we'll just fire up some more EC2 instances. Um, we might need to do that this morning. <laughs> but uh, so... Once this is finished, it'll give us a zip file that has all of the uh, generated code in it. And what we'll do is download the zip file. Oh, here we go. Um, we will download the zip file. It says CMS themes are not able to be previewed directly. If, if we were just making a regular HTML file with PSD to CSS Online, um, we could preview it right here. I'll host it for you for a day, for 24 hours, so you can see what your design looks like live on, on the Internet. Uh, but CMSs, you need to download the zip file. We'll save it. Okay. All right, so on this machine, on this Mac, I already have a version of uh, of uh, Apache and PHP. It's it's a stack called MAMP, M-A-M-P. Um, you can run your own web server on your Mac with it. It's pretty cool. And I already have Apache. I already have uh, WordPress running on it. So here's one of the standard WordPress themes, and it's. I think I only have one one article. Um, but what we'll do is go over to the site admin. I've already logged in. Obviously, here's our the standard WordPress. Uh, admin. We will look into the appearance tag and you can see that there's only two themes defined so far. Those are the two that come with WordPress. What I'm going to do now 
And uh, I, I like to use the uh, terminal program for this. I hope that doesn't offend anybody. But I'm already, uh, I'm already, as you can see, I'm already, oops, I'm already uh, at uh, Applications Map HT Docs WordPress. So I'm already sitting here in my WordPress area. Um, we we downloaded the zip file earlier to the desktop. So all I'm going to do is unzip from the desktop. PSD, oops, PSD to CSS.zip. That's the zip file we downloaded. Can you see that? Yeah, I think so. And it, the zip file even already has the appropriate folder structure for WordPress. All you have to do is, if your WordPress is installed on your ISP, you just FTP, unzip it on your local machine, FTP the whole thing straight into the root of your WordPress install. And uh, the folder structure is already there. It'll automatically put everything where it's supposed to be. And when you come back to your, uh, your uh, WordPress admin here and reload this page, sure enough, now there's a PSD to CSS online theme along with the others. It doesn't have a screenshot of your design. Um, I probably won't be able to do that. I might be able to do that, but it doesn't do it yet. The, one of the coolest things that WordPress does, though, is when you choose this, it gives you a preview of your theme uh, working, even with all the JavaScript. I think that's pretty neat. Um, uh, but it, And with your content in it, so you can see what it looks like before you decide to make it live. So we will go ahead and activate it and then visit our WordPress site, and sure enough, there we go. That is WordPress running with our theme that was seconds ago, um, nothing more than a PSD file. Um, we've got uh, some PSD to CSS Online tricks that work, just to show off that they do. And, uh, and that was all there was to it. So here's the example uh, that you can go and see on my website. Um, it's at wordpress.psd to cssonline.com wordpress.psd to cssonline.com. There's a link to this right from the front of psd to cssonline.com. Um, you can see I did a couple of minor modifications. I changed the fonts to the or changed the color of the links to blue. I think I have two articles here instead of just one. Um, this uh, I made some minor modifications to uh, the uh, to the psd to cssonline features that I added. Put in the the. Um, LB thumb feature and this is the H menu feature and this is a close button and some stuff like that. But that's it. Um, we went from a Photoshop design to a uh, WordPress theme working installed uh, in just a few seconds or minutes I guess. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, visit the site and uh, have fun. Thanks.